Hi everyone, welcome to my GSP tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to write a simple hello world application in GSP. So first let me create a new project. So I'll go to file, click on new and select dynamic web project. Now let's give it a name. So let's say we call it GSP test, then click on next, then next and then finish. So this is our GSP project. Now we'll have to create a JSP file. So for creating a JSP file, just right click on the project, go to new and select JSP file. Now, if you don't find this option of JSP file over here, then you'll have to go to other. Then from here under the web section, you'll find this option. So just select it and click on next. Now let's give our file some name. So let's say we call it hello world.jsp. Then click on next and then finish. So this is our JSP page. Now we know that JSP is a technology which allows us to write Java code inside HTML. And it is basically used for generating dynamic web content, right? So what we'll do is instead of directly writing hello world inside any of the HTML tag, we'll create a Java string variable and then use that variable to display the value. Now, first of all, how do we write Java inside HTML? So for doing that, we have something called as a JSP scriptlet. And the syntax of a JSP scriptlet is something like this. So this is a JSP scriptlet and whatever we write inside the scriptlet will be considered as Java code, right? So I'll just declare a Java string variable over here. So let's say, string str is equal to hello world, right? So we have created a string variable and now we are going to make use of this variable to display this string on the screen. So again, I'm going to display uh, the string inside an h1 tag. So uh, let me just create an h1 tag first. Okay, now we want to print the value of this variable, which is hello world inside this h1 tag, okay? So again, how do we do it? So for doing that, we have to make use of a JSP expression and the syntax of a JSP expression is something like this. Okay, again, it's quite similar to a scriptlet, but it just has an extra equal to over here, okay? And now we just have to specify the name of our variable, which is str. So this will basically print the value of this variable, which is hello world inside h1 tag. Okay, so let's run our application. So for running, you can just uh, click on this play button over here. Then click on next and just make sure that your application is uh, added uh, in this section. Okay, and click on finish. And yes, it is displaying hello world on the screen. So yeah, this is how you uh, integrate your Java code inside HTML. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial. If you liked my tutorials, do subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching.